Adult stem cells are unique and unspecialized self-renewing cells with the potential to develop into other types of cells. The bones, or bone marrow, are the primary location in which adult stem cells are produced. In day-to-day -day life, a small number of stem cells are able to leave the bone marrow and travel throughout the body in the circulating or peripheral blood, where they assist in the normal repair and defense of the body. During normal stem cell function, two types of cells in the bone marrow, called stromal cells and osteoblasts, produce a chemotactic protein called SDF1 that attracts stem cells. Also, endothelial cells lining bone marrow blood vessels capture blood circulating SDF1 and release it into the bone marrow. As SDF1 is released or secreted in the bone marrow, a chemotactic gradient is formed with higher concentrations of SDF1 located closer to the stromal and osteoblast cells. SDF1 interacts with the chemokine receptor called CXCR4, which is located on the surface of stem cells, bone marrow endothelial cells, and other stromal cells. As SDF1 interacts with CXCR4, it creates a bond which signals the stem cells inside the bone marrow to crawl toward the stromal and osteoblast cells. The chemotactic signal prevents stem cells from leaving the bone marrow for the peripheral blood. In order to collect adult stem cells, the cells must first be prompted to enter the peripheral blood. Through the administration of a stem cell mobilizing agent called granulocyte colony stimulating factor, or GCSF, enzymes, including neutrophil elastase, cathepsin G, and MMP9 are activated inside the bone marrow. These enzymes cleave the SDF1 protein, inhibiting its ability to interact. In addition, the CD26 protein that is expressed on the surface of a subpopulation of stem cells also cleaves SDF1. When interaction between SDF1 and CXCR4 is blocked, the stem cells are no longer held in place inside the bone marrow. They are now free to move into the peripheral blood. Once circulating in the peripheral blood, stem cells can be harvested by a process called apheresis.